Hello and welcome to Xinhua Life. I'm Chen Qiang with Xinhua News Agency. Today we are going to visit the world's largest radio telescope, FAST, the 500-meter actual spherical radio telescope, which is located in Pingtang County in southwest China's Guizhou Province. Follow me and uh, find out more. FAST is a single dish telescope with a diameter of half a kilometer. It was built in the Da Wodang Depression, a natural coast basin in Pingtang County in mountainous uh, Guizhou Province. Now I'm on the way to the upper place of FAST. I should say it's really, really a precious opportunity to be here because nobody is allowed to be inside during the fast is working. The world's largest radio telescope, FAST, celebrated its first anniversary on Monday. It has attracted many scientists both at home and abroad. When we talk about FAST, we should never forget the founding father. Nan Ren Dong, chief scientist of the project, died from lung cancer at the age of 72, just 10 days before the separation. He underwent surgery after being diagnosed with the disease two years ago. Nan continued his work despite illness. Wow. The steel tower is so sophisticated. Da Wodang was chosen out of more than 900 depressions, and the decision was made after the National Astronomical Observatories spent 10 years investigating and analyzing. The project once viewed by many as an impossible mission, completed its main structure installation, a 4,450 panel flatters as large as 30 football pitches last year. FAST may help better understand the origin and the structure of the universe and accelerate and even revolutionize the search for life beyond Earth. FAST's tasks include observation of PASAS, as well as exploration of interstellar molecules and interstellar communication signals. 180 million US dollars FAST started in 2011, seven years after it was proposed by Chinese astronomers. Now we can see the feed cabin in front of us. It works as uh, the brain of the fast. The site selection was the most important yet challenging work at the initial stage of the project. Chinese scientists began site serving in 1994, including climate, engineering environment, and radio interference. After driving on rugged mountains for thousands upon thousands of miles in southwest China over more than 10 years, scientists finally found the ideal site, a karst valley deep in mountainous Guizhou province. Da Wodang once a remote and underdeveloped place with no road connecting it to outside world was inhabited by 12 families. They were relocated after the site was chosen for the telescope over a decade ago. Actually, the, relocate, the relocation allowed them to lead better lives. Besides the 12 households in Da Wodang, 
more than 8,000 residents within five kilometers of the telescope should also be relocated. The scientists experienced numerous technical difficulties. The team overcame more than a hundred failures to solve a cabinet problem. The telescope nicknamed Tianyan or the Eye of Heaven can accurately emit twice as much as the sky as the Alicebo Observatory, which had been uh, previously the world's largest single-dish radio telescope with double sensitivity and 5 to 10 times the serving speed. FAST will be the global leader for the next 10 to 20 years. Now I'm on the way to the upper place of FAST. The telescope is expected to discover twice the number of pulsars as are currently known and it is is, uh, and is highly likely to make breakthroughs in the study of gravitational waves and general relativity theory. In the first two or three years after FAST's complete complexing, the telescope will undergo further adjustment in the uh, during the period uh, Chinese scientists will use it for early stage research. It has also created a boom in tourism for the county. Surrounding areas are open to visitors, but the number of visitors is strictly controlled below 2,000 people per day. Since it began operation in September last year, it has, a, uh, it has received 240,000 visitors, according to the local authorities. An astronomical and cultural park is being extended. New theaters and exhibition centers will open ahead of the National Day holiday in October. Scientists are using FAST to probe space, and they do not want any uh, disturbances. So tourism can only be developed on the condition that the research functions are not impeded. FAST may help better understand the arranging and the structure of the universe and accelerate and even revolutionize the search for life beyond Earth. Fast tasks include observation of pulsars, as well as exploration of interstellar molecules and interstellar communication signals.
Now I'm on the way to the upper place of fast. I'm at the control center. This is a place where scientists work with the help of FAST. Let's go and find out how it explores the galaxies. Now we are in the room, and next we will invite the scientist Tang Mingyu. Hello. Uh, can you uh, introduce us uh, how the room works? Sure. Uh, here we are in this uh, control room on FAST. It's the red of the FAST system. Uh, there are four parts uh, in the control room. The first part is the surface control system. It controls the movement of the panels to, to form a par paroid. The refractor panels? Yes. 4,450? Yes, but, uh, but we, we have only uh, 700 to form a paroid surface. To receive the signals from the universe? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, this is the uh, feed system. Big system? Feed. 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 Oh, okay. Feedback. Yes. Uh, this system it controls the movement of the, uh, the feed cabin and, uh, and the feed in the cabin. Uh, here, the first, the first screen it shows the uh, movement of the ca feed cabin. And the now we can see the feed cabin? Yes. <laughs> In the computer. Yes. And uh, when we are planning to observe as a target, so it will compute the routing to to the expected position. We use it for the early stage uh, research now. Uh, yes, it's the early stage with the wide band receiver, uh, but we will install a 19 beam receiver in the end of this year. And uh, the third part is the uh, control system. Uh, the control system it controls the surface and the feed feed system at the same time. In the center. Yes. yes. Yeah. And uh, this part is uh, is uh, data recording system. Is uh, we have uh, four backends. Let's go. 
This is the. Uh, this is the. Uh, yeah. This is the uh, plot which we observed uh, in uh, in September 17 towards 3C to ABC. Yes, and you can see this is a nice plot. That that means our point is uh, is good enough now. And we know we are very curious about the, the life beyond the Earth. <laughs> uh, yes. Like uh, mm, and yeah, how, yeah. how is the function of the, the room? Uh, this room it controls, the, it controls the, the, the operation of the telescope to, rece to uh, receive the signals from the universe. And uh, yes, the signal from uh, the alien is, uh, is one part of our uh, target. Um, it's, it's usually uh, get, get, get confused by the electromagnetic mm -hmm. interference. So how to avoid such interference? Oh, yes. Uh, the the radio interference is a uh, RFI we call that. Uh, it's an uh, uh, important issue in this set because uh, uh, the signals we, uh, we obtain is very weak and it will, yeah, it's very faint and it will be uh, strongly affected by, uh, by the RFI. So, here we this we are in the center of the radio radio quad so, so in this uh, part in, in this part uh, the cell phones and the cars are limited. The electronic devices are mm. controlled by inhibitors in the, in this area. Yes. And so. the, you have the very strict regulations here. Uh, yes, we have regulations. Um, maybe it's, it's not uh, posted on the wall here, but uh, we have uh, uh, rules about the video. Yeah, and we can see a screen on the, on the wall. So how, uh, how did it uh, work. Uh, these images are from uh, from the camera in the tower. In the tower, uh, you can see the it controls the, the the road uh, connect to the feed feed cabin. We can receive the signals. Every time, day after day. Uh, yes. And do you analyze uh, this uh, data here? Uh, yes, we have cells, uh, cells here. We record the data, and after after that, we uh, transfer our data to Big uh, Guiyang Normal University. Uh, in the Beijing University uh, to store and another copy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tang. Uh, and with this, we wrap up our live report. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you like it, you can share it with your friends on your own Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube accounts. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.